Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are J-Lo, the streets are saying, according to Radar Online, that you are fuming over Ben Affleck's crush on pal Sofia Vergara. Um, listen, before we get into this, can I just say, did anybody see uh, J-Lo's This Is Me Now? Now, let me just say this. It was over the top. It was... I got where she was going, but it was still nonsensical. It was like a huge therapy session. It was incredibly focused on her. She, it was a therapy session, set the music. The music sucks. The cinematography sucked. And even then, <laughs> it made me emphasize with JLo a lot. Like you realize that she looks like she was raised with a narcissistic mother and a father that like there was a bunch of stuff going on and Ben combines both her her parents but also feels a need and she is like in love 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 with him so everything was horrible but the movie you just get a deeper understanding of who she is that says I don't know if this is going to be the last time that 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 she gets married because she loves the idea of love. She just wants to grow old with someone. The only thing with JLo is maybe she needs to realize that the best person to grow old with is herself. And then whoever else is just extra. But you know what? Let's get into this. They're saying jealous Jennifer Lopez has been reportedly been flipping out over Ben's longtime crush on newly single actress Sofia Verga. And it, they claim that J-Lo is giving Sofia Vergara uh, the cold shoulder. Now, let me say this, right? Um, J-Lo has been known to be very, very jealous to Ben. Remember when those girls in the Bronx saw Jen, Jen, uh, Ben and was like, oh, my God, you're Ben Affleck. They were in a car and they're like, oh, my God, hi. And J-Lo literally screamed, back off, B-I-T to the girls in the car. And they were just like, oh my God, J-Lo loses her mind when it comes to Ben. And that type of jealousy, I don't know if she's always been like that, but we all know that Ben was at one time sleeping with the nanny and acting up and doing all this stuff. I'm just saying, when Ben's not happy, he creeps. Let's also not forget that he fell in love with Jennifer Garner while he was still a year before he broke off his engagement to J-Lo. They're saying that Sophia has prowled the dating scene after breaking up from her magic mic hunk, you know, Joe, Majin, whatever. The reason they actually broke up was, and I give it to Sophia, this is really mature of her to realize. He wanted kids. Sophia's already a mother. She said, I don't want to be an old mom. I don't want to do this. Nothing wrong with, she said, I, no disrespect to anybody that chooses to have children later on in life, but I've already gone down that road and I don't want to have children again at this age and he wanted to have children so it was actually pretty mature of her to take a step back and be like i'm out of it i don't know if he handled it so maturely because he then took a few shots saying oh he wants someone his new fiance doesn't like to drink or party she's very calm what else is a woman who has a, what, 28-year-old son who supports himself and has his own life, what else is she supposed to do but be fabulous, go to parties, have fun? What do you want her doing? Sitting there playing bingo at the retirement home? Bingo is fun, but you can't do that every night. Anyway, according to a sensational report, a tipster has told them that J-Lo is fed up with her husband allegedly drooling over Sophia. And she is fed up and she's calling out his, uh, 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 she's fed up. But more than that, Ben is fed up and he's calling out his hot headed wife for her trust issues. Jennifer is close to Sophia, but that doesn't mean she wants her husband getting all googly eyed over her. According to the spy, Ben is notorious for his admiration for Sophia and considers the former sitcom siren the ideal woman. Ben even shared a chummy moment with the South, South American Spitfire at the 2013 Golden Globes Awards. 
The mole squeals that the love don't cost a thing singer now fumes over the decade-long encounter, which happened when J-Lo was still married to Mark Anthony and Ben was still hitched to Jennifer Lo uh, Garner. Sources claim Ben kept making matters worse by begging his wife to have them get together with Sophia, who's been spotted on dates with an orthopedic surgeon, Justin Salaman. Jennifer is putting her foot down and saying, no way. There's no evidence that Ben has ever tried to hook up with Sophia, but the tipster claims that Ben is smitten with his appreciation for the total smoke show has triggered J-Lo's insecurities, especially because their first romance hit the rocks in 2003 over the uh, Ben's alleged infidelity. And I believe that infidelity actually was with Jennifer Garner, his current wife. And honestly, Ben loves Latin women. Sophia, her body, her face. And on top of that, Sophia is Ver Vergara, is Vergara, right? Y'all, the Colombians were dragging me, right? Do my best to pronounce the name. Uh, Sophia is so funny, smart, quick with it. I could see somebody having a crush on her. I really honestly could. In a recent interview, Jennifer J. Lo admitted she'd step up to any competition around Ben Affleck and said, don't play with me. I'm a lover, not a fighter, but I will let them know in a very elegant and ladylike way to step all the way off when it came to protecting her marriage. Okay, here's the thing. I'm rooting for her to get her happy ending, like just some type of peace. I don't think we can take another divorce and her making another This Is Us Now because those vocals, they should have bought Ashanti in to sing. But do secure people have to protect their marriage? They're both stars. You have to know that. It makes me think that, I don't know, maybe things aren't as cool as Jin leads us to believe. You know, now they did reach out to Sophia, Affleck, and JLo for comment. Uh, nobody got back, I'm guessing. As the outlet reported, JLo got candid about her past abusive relationships and insecurities in the documentary, The Greatest Love Story Never Told. That's another thing. There was this one scene, and I'm like, are they talking about Puffy, Diddy hitting her? Because there was like a scene about abuse, but you know what? I don't know. There were people in my life who said, I love you, and then didn't do things that were kind of in line with the word love. You hit, you have to hit rock bottom when you're in those situations so uncomfortable and so painful. You finally go, I don't want this anymore. Yeah, that's interesting to say 100%. But when you say, like, I don't want this anymore, um, I don't know. Do y'all think things are going to work out between her and Ben? Because one thing I got from her movie, she loves that man. But Ben is a, he's a mess. He's a mess. He's a mess. And I just feel like J-Lo deserves, anyone deserves more than him. I know he can be nice. I know he can be sweet. I know he can be charming. But he is a mess the way when he hits that self-destructive button, kaboom, everything blows up. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. But honestly, fingers crossed we don't get any more This Is Us now. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.